Whoa there, don't move a muscle. You have to give the bad guy a chance to say some lines. Hello everyone, Karma here, and we are back with the Boogeyman. So let's go ahead and load up. Now, between this episode and the last one, um, we had this hint and I was supposed to figure it out. And I, I, I'm not going to figure this out. So apparently it's like this really convoluted answer. Um, so basically once we put, you know, the code in here, it gave us the note instead of the drop downstairs. Well, if we come in, okay, not that room. It's the one with the records. So I was right. I had something to do with the records. So it has to do with the color apparently of, um, the records. So if you remember, whenever we go over to the number pad, all of the numbers have different colors. So apparently it's supposed to correspond to that. I don't know. It's kind of convoluted. I wouldn't have got it without help, but it's apparently seven, one. I have it pulled up right here. Uh, six and then whoops. Okay. And then five, uh, three, two, four. There we go. So apparently that's what the code was. I don't know. I would not have got that. Um, I want to make sure we're not missing anything. I mean, we still have that that I wasn't able to get. Um, there's still the fish tank. I just need to make sure I have all of the rooms taken care of. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, head out here. All right. Um... I know there was that one room with, like, the head. I don't remember what it was. I don't think we ever got anything out of here, either. I know the fish. I'll not be unlucky fish. So, some kind of puzzle about a fish still is left unsolved. This is still left unsolved. Um... I don't have the key to that door, or do I? Hold on, let me look at my items. Okay, I only have a wrench hammer, I guess. Um, all right, cool. Let's head down the stairs. Was there stuff down here? No. Oh my goodness, my cat is crying in the background. Pandora, please chill the hell out. All right, so nothing down here we missed. And then before we go upstairs, let me... Oh, wait, did I do this room? Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, I remember there was this head here still that we should have... Oh! I interacted with this thing so many freaking times. Tell me why I never got this prompt until now. Looking closer, something's in its mouth. Uh, take what's inside? What the heck? Ooh, he got blood on his face. Yeah. Ooh, yuck, I hate the voice acting. I'm so sorry, y'all. Okay, well, oh, what the? A headless corpse, something fastened to the hand. Got a videotape. Okay, let's see here. So we have a videotape now. All right, let's check. Is there another room down here? No. Okay, so then last is just... Uh, there's some clue with a fish. I don't know what that would be. The table is cleared in here, because fish, it's like fish food. Oh, this fish. A big mounted fish. Looking closely, there's something in its mouth. Wait, what? Take what's inside. Got the theater key. Can I go through here? Oh yeah, it just leads me out to this hallway again. Alright, well... Um, and I think I checked all of the rooms here already. Yeah, because that's the kitchen. Um, okay, the wine room. So I'm looking for the theater. I don't know what room that would be, though. Okay, we already went to dealt with the storeroom also, I think. And these are everyone's personal rooms, which I know I looked at. Um, okay, well, I guess let's go up here. I wonder if the theater is that room, like, not this one, but the one after, like, straight back behind this. This one. Uh, let's see. Does it open? Oh, it does. Okay, I was like, that's the only locked door I can think of. Ooh, what the heck? Who is this? 
A corpse sits on the sofa. The back of his neck has a big gash. There's brandy and a glass on the table. Nothing in the shelves. A VHS tape deck and a projector. I see. Well, I can put the videotape in, I guess. This tunes you on? Wait, is this Helena? Is that our wife? What's going on? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, I hope she's okay. Eek. No, 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 no. Oh, she got away. Okay. Well, I hope she's still okay. And he's just, like, waving? What the heck? Corpse sits on the sofa, the back of its neck is a big gash. Okay, well, what was the point of me seeing that? I don't know. I think we did everything on this floor, though, now. Let's go ahead and, I guess, save here. Awesome. And upstairs. Oh, what the heck? Oh! Good thing I freaking saved, Jesus Christ. Get came over while using Keith. Oh my gosh. Alright, well, I am literally so glad I <laughs> I saved right before going up the stairs. Okay, I don't know how I'm supposed to handle this. Okay, um... I assume it's like I can't walk directly in front of them or they'll kill me. So I have to stay at least like one space away or they'll kill me. Okay. Yeah, that seems to be the case. I don't think there's a door up there, so I'm just gonna go out this way. And I will, whoops. I will save on the other side so I don't have to go through that again. Awesome. All right. Locked with a rusty padlock. Okay. Well, that's not super helpful. Boogie, voodoo, boogle, boogie. Um, okay. Interesting, I guess. A wine shelf. Old axe. Something's written on the wall. Time for a pop quiz. Do you know what boogie is made of? B-O-G-I and E. What the hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> That's a little weird, but okay. Um. Oh, what the heck? Lance, detective. Hey, save me already, damn it. Untie these things. If you want them off that bad, you should have asked me, Lance. Oh, man. H hey, hurry up. Save me, please. Hey there, detective. Whoa there, don't move a muscle. You have to give the bad guy a chance to say some lines. Hurry, Keith, get me out of here. What a noisy pest you are, Lance. Already forgotten your punishment for howling like that before? What the heck? Huh? Bad dog. Oh! Oh my gosh! Don't move! I already said that, didn't I? If you ask me, detective, photographers are just the worst people in the whole world. They capture the world in their lens and tell the world that this is reality. But it isn't, is it? Reality is pain, it has suffering, and most importantly, it has fear. The public sees this world you're fighting against in a distorted form thanks to these wretched photographers. So now I'm thinking this coward should be taught what real pain is like. Good idea, don't you think? Now, Lance, you seem like a coward who can only see reality through a lens, so I'll take a photo for you. And I'll put that photo in a frame, hang it up, play some flowers, and pray. On the anniversary of your death. No, don't kill him! Smile for the camera, Lance! Oh, no. He's tied down with leather belts. They're locked and won't come loose. Oh, God. Um, camera placed on a tripod. It's set to take time-lapse photos. A box on the wall. Oh, open it. 
I have the wrench thingy. Um, there's a switch in the box. Press switch. Did it work? Looks like it was the room's light switch. Oh god. Okay, um, shelves that are loose. Knock down the shelves. Um, oh goodness. Bogey? I'm so confused. Oh god. Do you know what it's made of? B-O-G-I-E? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Um, I guess how many letters maybe are in each? So it would be one, two, one, one, one. Oh god, I don't know. Enter? Oh, I did it. Give me a kiss of love? What's that supposed to mean? Um, no power button. Give me a kiss of love? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? I am so stressed out. Um, well... I need... Can I... There was an axe over here. That's all I can think of. An old axe bolted to the wall. Oh, I know. I have a wrench hammer. Come on, let me use it. Oh, there we go. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so I guess that key code opened the door and like unlocked it so I could come out here. I didn't even think to check this door because I'm kind of stupid, not gonna lie. Okay, and then can I, uh, no, all right. Um, item, ax, cut him out. Oh my God, what do you mean? Um, old ax, can I cut the power? What the f Oh my God, you're kidding me. Why couldn't I cut him out with my freaking axe? Like, that makes no sense, y'all. Like, literally zero sense. I should have, by all means, been able to just cut him out. Whatever. Screw this. All right, let's try that again. Um, can I prematurely unbolt this? Oh, I can. Sneaky, sneaky. All right, well, I guess I'll have the axe. All right, cool. And then let's save right outside here then. Perfect, all right, go inside. Um, okay, I don't know what this, oh, I guess sub key was the shift key. So I have the axe now, so can I like axe the door? I think it's working. Uh, it's not breaking yet. Okay, well then, again! Okay, and then I'm assuming one more time, because it's still standing. Uh, okay, cool. Um, key on the rack. Okay, restraints key. Alright, that actually wasn't too bad then. Now that I actually knew what was going on. Um, item, restraints key. What the heck? Unlock him, dude. There we go, I think. Oh! Okay, is it... Oh, there we go, there we go. I'll stop the bleeding. Uh... Lots of silence. What a crappy photo. This is why I hate taking pics of people. Damn it, why'd this happen to me? Freaking out and howling, what a loser I am. Your life was in danger. I'd be worried if you weren't frightened. And what would you know, huh? When I was new to my job, I got shot in the leg. I lost my cool and screamed, and my boss at the time punched me. Told me that if I freaked out, nobody would trust me. Why is Pandora crying so much? Pandora! Oh my goodness. Why are you here, Lance? Hell if I know. I nodded off on the sofa then. Woke up all tied up. You didn't notice being transported here? I said I was sleeping, didn't I? I'll tell you what I know. That man's kidnapped everyone who was on the tour. I haven't found any of them yet besides you. Brendan, Stevie, and the employees were all killed. Huh? Killed? 
I slept from 9 to about midnight. Around 12.05, that man decapitated Brendan. Stevie died around 12.20. He was tied to a chair, cut open from his neck down his back. He was left there immobile until he died of blood loss. Judging from the amount of blood and how much it had dried, the wound was probably inflicted about 30 minutes before I found him. He's... seriously dead? Well, he was still hanging by a thread by the time I arrived. Wasn't there some way to save him? I'm not a doctor. Even if I were, he'd lost too much blood. So you just stood in front of dying Stevie, calculating his time of death? Don't harp on every detail. Lance, can you stand? I'm going to look for the others. You come with me. I can't leave you alone. And what if I can't stand, huh? I'll carry you. Give me a break. Hey, go look for the others if you want, but don't you think it'd be faster to nail that guy down first? Leaving him alone is downright dangerous. This is a hostage situation. Who knows how many others are being slowly killed like Stevie? Catching him is pointless if we can't guarantee everyone's safety. He's already killed several people. I'm playing catch up at this point. I can't suffer any more careless losses. Losses, huh? That's what you call murders? Quiet, stop hounding me. That kind of thing gets the attention of civil liberties groups. Uh, let's go. Okay, I guess. Uh, well, we got lands. Let's go back and look in here, see if there's anything else. But I don't think so. Um, iron shelves that won't open. Some sort of operation console. Iron shelves. Okay, so nothing really of use here, I suppose. Um, let's go ahead and save now. And out we go. Bro, you're so slow. Alright, I guess head this way. Alright, so this room, there's shackles on the wall. A painting, there's text engraved into the frame. Okay. The coward will look toward the protector with respect. Yet in times of crisis, they find relief in looking away and keeping a weapon nearby. Hmm... Coward will look toward the protector with respect. Yet in times of crisis, they find relief in looking away and keeping a weapon nearby. The fool is indifferent to both the protector and the eye of evil. As such, they are not even aware where they stand. The rebel scorns the protector and faces away from them. Yet in times of crisis, they are the most faithful to the protector, hiding behind their back. I see. I'm assuming... That's going to have something to do with character tropes? What is this? I should have freaking known it was just going to instantly kill me. But no, I, I just wanted to be a freaking idiot and <laughs> just walk on top of everything. Totally fine. 100%. All right, well, um... Hold on, let's go back in here, so... Blah, blah, blah. So we can't go in there. So then, I guess, is there anything where else? Okay, so... I assume that has significance. I don't know what yet, though. Um, empty bottles on the shelves. Empty bottles on the shelves. Shackles on the wall. And, okay, there's still the spiky things. So I guess we gotta figure out how to get the spiky things to, like, go away? I'm so confused. What the heck? Why are we suddenly- What the hell is this freaking game? Like, he just rounded the corner and started blasting, dude? What the- Okay. Um. <laughs> well, I wasn't exactly expecting that. So, um... Damn. Alright, I guess let's save right here. Um. Okay, so that's not gonna help me. I can't go down there. Well, then what do I do?
Um, I know there was one more room that I could potentially go in, which is downwards, I believe. The door won't open. On the door is an emblem and a note. Just do what you want. Just do what you always do. What's that supposed to mean? Tear off the note. Phoenix. So rise again? From the flames? I don't know. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good spot for us to stop the episode for today, so if you guys have enjoyed the episode so far or the entire series, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I've left links to in the description of the video to all of my social media, and that's the best way to stay up to date with my latest plans and agenda. I upload every weekday at 12 p.m. Central, and I live stream Saturdays and Sundays at 7 p.m. Central over on Twitch. Anyways, I think that's all I have for you guys today, and I really appreciate you staying until the end of the video. I hope to see you again real soon. Until then, bye bye.